What's up, family? Welcome back to Unauthorized History. I hope you guys are having a happy, safe, blessed, and wonderful 2020 so far. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor and hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button so you can always know when I upload. Now, here on this channel, we discuss the women who took part in the Montgomery bus boycott and the Browder vs. Gale trial. But how many of you are aware of just who was the Browder in the Browder vs. Gale trial? Well, I'm here to talk to you about Aurelia Browder and her bravery and her stand that she took for herself in the Montgomery bus boycotts and in the Browder vs. Gale trial. Let's get into it. But if you think the battle's won, think again. The fact is, for each one we reach, there's one we can't. And if we can't reach them, chances are nobody can. Because a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Aurelia Browder was born on January 29, 1919 in Montgomery, Alabama. She was a hard-working woman who birthed and raised six children. She worked as a seamstress, a midwife, and a teacher at various points throughout her life. Although she was a widow, she was able to complete her bachelor's degree at Alabama State University in her 30s. Additionally, she graduated with honors and was a member of the National Alpha Kappa Mu Honor Society. Now, I personally think that is a remarkable accomplishment for a widowed mother raising six children and working full time. It was at Alabama State University where she met Joanne Gibson Robinson, a well-known figure in the civil rights movement. Joanne Gibson Robinson encouraged Aurelia Browder to get involved in civil rights. Aurelia Browder became a staunch figure in the civil rights movement. She was active with the NAACP, the Montgomery Improvement Association, or MIA for short, which launched the Montgomery Bus Boycotts and the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. The law during that time in Montgomery said that blacks and whites did not sit together on the buses, nor did they dine together or go to the movies together. It was because of this law that Aurelia Browder took a brave stand for her rights. In Montgomery, Alabama, on April 19, 1955, almost eight months before the historic arrest of Rosa Parks and one month after the arrest of Claudette Colvin for the same offense, Aurelia Browder was arrested for sitting in the white section of a public city bus. She was convicted and she was issued a fine. Her arrest prompted a series of events which culminated in the landmark historic case of Browder v. Gale. The Montgomery Improvement Association, which was heavily fueled by Joanne Gibson Robinson, was eager to create change and two days after Rosa Parks' arrest in 1955, the Montgomery bus boycotts began. The Montgomery Improvement Association chose Aurelia Browder's case because it could skip being heard by the local courts. On February 1st, 1956, Fred Gray, the attorney for the Montgomery Improvement Association, and Robert L. Carter of the NAACP Legal Defense Fund filed a lawsuit in the U.S. District Court on behalf of five black women who had been the victims of discrimination on local buses. W.A. Gill, the mayor of Montgomery, was the defendant. Browder v. Gale was officially born. Browder v. Gale was filed listing five plaintiffs, Aurelia Browder, Claudette Colvin, Susie McDonald, Jeanetta Reese, and Mary Louise Smith. Browder was picked as the lead plaintiff because of her age. Two of the other plaintiffs were teenagers and the other two were senior citizens. Browder was 37 at the time, putting her in the middle of the other plaintiffs and as a good representation of all of them. Janetta Reese soon withdrew from the case after it was filed because of intimidation from the white community. Now, on June 5th, the judges released their decision. Segregated buses violated the equal protection and due process guarantees of the 14th Amendment and were therefore unconstitutional. The city of Montgomery could not enforce any law which may require plaintiffs or any other Negroes similarly situated to submit to segregation in the use of bus transportation facilities in the city of Montgomery. Both the city and the state appealed this decision. On December 17, 1956, the U.S. Supreme Court upheld the ruling, issuing a court order to the state of Alabama to desegregate its buses. The Montgomery bus boycott ended on December 21st after 381 days. After the case ended, Aurelia Browder continued to be active in the civil rights movement. She passed away in February of 1971. 
Aurelia Brada was a brave woman whose accomplishment deserves to be celebrated. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. All right, peace, family. Minister Malcolm, you have suggested that there are all kinds of movements in Harlem growing that you and I don't know about. Oh yes, uh, frustration itself has been, has been sufficient. All that was necessary to make. You know what I'm saying? As an artist, I feel the same type of responsibility. So it's not activism. It's really just life.